channel. This is another mixed media layout for you and I am using the new collection by Dear Lizzie called Documentary and I am taking the beautiful floral that's called Fancy Free as my background paper and this black and white kind of chevron one that I'm using just a strip of is called Love This and thankfully I bought two pages of the Fancy Free floral because the back side of it is this beautiful like teal water color wash of color that I absolutely loved as well. So I'm trying to tone down the dynamic background and not make it, it too overwhelming and that's why I'm using the background paper as well which is the water wash and breaking it up with this like strip of black and white stripe. Um, I think a few scrapbookers do it, but I know I also saw recently a shout out to Miss Missy who did this, I mean, a long time ago. I can't remember how long ago, but I do remember her doing it for a collection to tone down a bright floral pattern as well. So thank you, Miss Missy, for also the inspiration. <laughs> so right now I'm just adding some white gesso because I have every intention of doing some mixed media on here. And I'm taking the Vibrant Turquoise by Dilution Ink Sprays on the packaging and enhancing or like picking up that kind of teal color in the background paper as well. So I'm doing quite a lot of, uh, well a lot of it, but I also wanted to pick up some of this like magenta red color that's in it. So I'm using my reliable but inexpensive watercolor set from Michaels and using a very um, small round paintbrush to um, add some of this red purple color that's also in the florals and I'm doing just a light wash again we're just trying to make the background just a little bit less intense than it once was in order not to complicate the layout and of course I add a little bit of some watercolor splatters in the same colors in order to have some of this messy effect going on in the layout as well so I do it with a green and I do it with the magenta kind of red purple color as well and I'm loving the way that that has come out and will lend to some nice effects for the background now you've seen me haul these these are my infamous what do they call it Daler and Rowney um, liquid acrylics and I'm using this kind of citron color I almost call it like apple green it's shimmer acrylic paint that's very liquidy and it's called Genesis Green and I'm adding just paint splatter with this because again I just want to bring out the colors that are in that beautiful floral into it as well now I did it off camera but you can already see that I have used um, the Maggie Holmes dyes from confetti that make the flowers and I used the 6x6 paper pad in order to make the flowers with my cuddle bug and actually what I'm layering behind my photo are the six by six scraps from doing all the flowers and I did the centers though with glitter paper of gold so they're really kind of fancy <laughs> and I'm just kinda I just did three of them I probably could have done one more but I like the odd number of three or five and such and I am using the phrase thickers from the Dear Lizzie collection as well that go with this um, collection and I am adhering everything down right here and I do use what do I use scotch one second glue or what is this called quick quick dry adhesive to um, put together the flowers and like I said all the pattern papers used were from the six by six paper pad I do mat the picture on some vellum before I put it down and then I'm just getting the placement overall. I do have the ephemera pack which you'll see me, that's all the pieces that you see me kind of um, toying with right now to get like another cluster in that bottom right hand side but also making sure that I pay close attention to these florals because they are just gorgeous. That, that Maggie Holmes die is just so fun. I, it's the first time me playing with them, believe it or not. I hauled it maybe a month ago, but I have not used them. That's a problem. <laughs> and I also, the die come with some like four different leaf or foliage, so I'm adding those too. And I'm adding just the thickers down, putting that down. And what happens afterwards? Oh yeah. 
So some of these ephemeras I'm committing to, that's um, one of the die cuts and also using the the sticker sheet as well for this layout. Um, I add a few of the stickers as well. So everything in this collection, or everything in this layout, sorry, is from the Dear Lizzie collection. And you'll actually be seeing me do, I think I already did like four layouts today with this collection. So you'll be seeing me play with it. And I pretty much do a big dent into this collection. I guess it's a good sign that you love it, right? I, and I've said it, if you saw my scrapbook tag, I love anything Dear Lizzie does, so I can never go wrong. So still messing around with some of the stickers to the sheet and enhancing it. And I add some gold thread, an another nice little inspiration from my Missy, who is here on YouTube if you don't know her. And I also want to add some sequences. I do try to add these black ones, but I take them off. So in the close-ups, you'll see that I went back and added some black ink splatters to finish off my layout. And you'll be seeing my close-ups. So thank you so much once again for watching my process videos. Please subscribe if you have not done so. And you can see some of the black splatters now on that layout. Thank you. And until next time, have a good day, everyone. Bye.